they determine uh, the need and level of oxygen support. Uh, if the patient does deteriorate and they require a breathing tube placement, you know, they're the ones that are helping uh, the proceduralists do that. Um, you know, they are the ones who really manage the mechanical ventilator to the goals set out by the providers, and, and they really make sure that, uh, that the patient is getting the right level of oxygen and, and we're doing uh, therapies that are, are protected to the lungs. But usually the respiratory therapists are the first ones who make the who who get a sense of well this patient has recovered and doesn't need the mechanical ventilator and and when the patients uh, are along their recovery pathway uh, the respiratory therapists are the the actual ones that are doing a lot of the rehabilitation so really the respiratory therapist provides a role from really at the time of presentation all the way uh, through their discharge there is an acute uh, an acute infection stage and this is really where the, the virus is causing the damage as well as the, as the damage that, that the body is doing kind of fighting this disease you know there's collateral damages the the lung is is certainly that uh, that type of an organ um, you know later on as we get past that acute phase you know the body gets control of the virus but there can be fibrosis or scarring of the lungs which which you know can cripple the lungs long term, and that's you know that's really kind of a scary thing, you know. Um, you know, additionally, just the mechanical ventilator itself can cause injury by how it provides air, and you know we at Mayo are actually very good at preventing this type. And and again, as mentioned before, this is where our respiratory therapists have have become very good at mitigating this problem, and they're. Um, and you know, making sure that the type of mechanical ventilation—it's just what we need.